our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex. This is the Ramble. That's what it says, right? We'll be here until midnight tonight. Let me see here. Let me push the right buttons. See, it, when I go away for about two weeks, <laughs> I forget how everything works these days. It just, you know. But excuse me. So we had a little, little, about t- ten seconds before the show started of just the gab net whirling around. But uh, you can uh, you can get used to that, can't you? Yeah, you can. Okay, listen. Uh, we got to. Uh, we're gonna go uh, talk to a friend here. Let me admit him into the uh, into into the Zoom thing. And uh, let me see here. Uh, turn on your camera, Phil. There we go. And then I simply go like this, and there we go. Hello, hello, Phil. Happy New Year. Yeah, it's our uh, it's our uh, Tuesday night uh, get together. Yeah. Which everybody says they enjoy. They say they enjoy this better than when you were on with everybody else. Well, you know, it, it's they enjoy the bitch bitch session that you get from eight, uh, from uh was it 10 o'clock on mm-hmm. and, uh you know let, let them enjoy it or not 10 o'clock was it 10 30 now 30 yeah and i'm thinking yeah. moving it to 11 30 and just going on for 15 minutes you know <laughs> just throw in some more promos huh you throw in more promos just run promos for an hour yeah and then uh, do, then do the show you know I, i've been i've been you know, at home a lot more because of the, the COVID running around and everything's closed down. And mm-hmm. uh, I watch a lot of YouTube lately. Yeah, me and, too. Me too. And and uh, you know, it's it's enough with the commercials. But what I I'm watching stuff like uh, uh, reviews on pants. You know, I yeah. was looking at a pair of pants and. Uh, it's you know for shooting, and uh, the guy's got three hundred and sixty-six thousand followers, and you know y- y- you ask yourself, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, why have I got like three, and this guy <laughs> is putting up what pictures of pants, videos He's of pants? pants. You no, know, you see him show you the pockets and the you know, the, the zipper and how uh, you know what the fit is like, and I'm saying to myself. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, you know, I've been looking uh, for something like that to do, something that would, you know, actually, I should turn this way, although then I can't see you, see? Oh, because well, then yeah. it looks like I'm actually talking to you. See? Uh, uh, yeah, on the uh, Zoom, I'm on the bottom, you're on the top. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, the, on the Zoom. Now maybe that's the way I'm. Uh, oh, actually, you should make the, your Zoom window larger. Oh, make okay. it slightly larger. Just pull it out, and you'll see. And all of a sudden, you'll be side by side with me. Uh, isn't, isn't pulling out? Uh, oh yeah. Oh no, I can move it. No, uh, they pull pull it out to the side. Yeah. And, I, or or down at the corner, just enlarge it. Yeah. And you'll see that it'll get you get the side by side. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just. Click That's on what it. I finally had to finally had to do here. You know. Um, Full screen, but uh, no, I see you on uh, really on YouTube. You like this, yeah, yeah. But, That's the way uh, we are, right? Uh, anyway, Zoom. yeah. So anyway, so uh, I mean, with uh, with iTunes, I've I tune in to, 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 uh, to uh, YouTube. Yeah, uh, I I've just been looking at it and going, hey, maybe I should just do something really just simple. I mean, people do things like unboxing a new toy or something, and they get like a hundred thousand viewers. You know, know. It, it's it's amazing. No, I got to do something that embraces being an old fart and say oh, an old fart looks at and then make it something like really hip. Well, you know, you know, maybe, uh, fabulous protest songs of the 60s or an old guy tries to figure out how this thing works. Yeah. 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 It, it's it's amazing, you know, because when you start looking at it, one of the things I look at is, well, how many followers does this guy have? Yeah. How many? Yeah, yeah. And, 
you know, I'm, I'm seeing enormous numbers, you know, for, for people that they, they put you to sleep if you talk, if you, you know, listen to them for more than five well, minutes. Well, I'll tell you what drives me crazy is, uh, and this is where I'm thinking of trying to fill the gap. I go to places like I want to find out certain things about OBS. So somebody will do something called everything you want to know about OBS. And then they will give you instructions on how to do stuff. But they're, they're going so fast. Right. And they are not doing a good job of explaining it. Yeah. And I just think I could come up with a better way of explaining stuff. Well, so you're the, a communicator. Yeah. So that people could understand it, you know. Yeah. But some of these things I look at and I go, oh, fuck him. You know, he's not teaching me anything. He's just confusing me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, I, there are people on there. It's mm -hmm. like watching paint dry, but they're talking. And they have hundreds of thousands of followers. The, yeah. the other thing that I uh, like to look at is this call, uh, podcast called Living the Van Life. Now, this guy's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And his whole thing is well, yeah. he goes out in his VW van mm -hmm. He goes to an area where it's snowing in Oregon or Washington. Yeah. He pulls into a parking lot where no one else is, mm -hmm. puts up his awning, yeah. starts to cook a meal, and uh, he cooks the meal. He's got almost a million followers. Yeah. Living the van life. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, granted, he's kind of interesting. You watch four or five of them, and, you know, and you're ready to kill yourself, but... yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, and they, but they do all these things. They do things like the ten best James Bond movies ever, and then yeah. they take clips from the James Bond movies and they run them, and then they run their commercials beforehand and they get monetized. And I'm wondering how are they getting monetized? They're using copyrighted material. That's what I, I don't get. Not only are they doing that, they'll run a commercial at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right after the commercial is a video commercial. And then three or four minutes, three or, you know, a, a few minutes into the thing is mm -hmm. another commercial, sometimes two in a row. Right. Living the van life guy, he must be making a lot of money because he's got like six or eight commercials every time, uh, you know, throughout his his thing. Well, anyway, so what's happening in uh, Georgia tonight? I haven't uh, looked at the last uh, thing I looked at. The looked like the Democrats were a little just a hair ahead. Uh, well, I uh, they. The Democrats were a hair behind a few minutes ago, but then I just looked at Drudge, and the headline is uh, Warnock projected to win Senate seat. So uh, I don't know if you can see yeah. this. Well, yeah. Uh, um, uh, so, uh, but he was behind Leffler. Uh, not a lot. Uh, Leffler was behind almost all night. And just within the last five or eight minutes, uh, she pulled ahead. Now, I don't know if she's still in that position. Uh, yeah, she doesn't deserve to win because she's really been a very lazy senator. They say she's really done a really lazy job of it. You know? Well, she'll uh, she may may be lazy and she may not deserve to win. But if she doesn't win, uh, well, even if she doesn't win, the Republicans with uh, uh, Purdue will remain in power. Uh, but you know, it's nice to have that one extra vote. Well, Purdue, when I saw the last time, Purdue was behind two, but it was just by a hair, by about 1%. And well, and, and, and all the votes are not in. They're not going to be in. For Carl Rove uh, ran some numbers, mm -hmm. and uh, if he's correct, uh, the uh, Republicans will win up by about 90,000 votes. Yeah, but he's not always right, you know? I mean, he's he's been kind of wrong a lot in the past yeah. years, and they've, they've assailed him for that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, you go over to Fox, they're going to parse it one way. You go over to MSNBC, they're going to parse it another way, and nobody knows who's going to win this thing because it's really close. It's a squeaker. You know? the, uh, uh, the channel selector for MSNBC is broken on my TV. Oh, is it really? <laughs> I, yeah. can't, I can't tune to it. I see. It I won't see. let me. It won't let you. We yes. don't want you. That's the reason why. <laughs> we don't want you. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Hey, you know, uh, with it was one thing that struck me yesterday. The Antifa uh, protesters. Antifa. Went, Antifa. Antifa. Uh, 
Well, they don't exist. I mean, you know. <laughs> well, so, they really don't. And I, I, I saw you. I know who you're going to talk about is this guy Hawley down in, yeah. uh, uh, down in uh, where's Florida, right? Uh, uh, no, he's in like North Carolina yeah. or South and, Carolina. And he went around claiming that Antifa was attacking his wife and children. I saw the and, video. And, no, you can see all you want to. The fact is, the police went over and said nothing was happening. They were they there was some chalk on the sidewalk, and there was a guy with a bullhorn, and they asked him to hold it down, so they quieted it down, and that it was nothing. Nobody was being attacked. Uh, somebody said that uh, they were trying to break in the front door. No. I saw them in front of the front door, but no. I couldn't see. No, they were protesting in front of the guy's home, which, you know, you can argue whether you should do that or not. Um, I would prefer, I would err on the side of not, okay? Yeah. But but nevertheless, <laughs> nevertheless, it wasn't Antifa trying to get this guy. This guy, he's got, had been in the Senate for, what, how many years? A couple of years, about two or three years. And uh, he wants to run for president next time. And so he's trying to make himself look like a hero. And he's, he's the, it's, a big, it's a big lie. I mean, it's fake news, okay? Uh, uh, no matter which well, way you want to you wanna parse it. Um, you know, uh, the... Uh, plus, he's an Hawley asshole. He's a real there. asshole. What? Hawley wasn't there. I think he was in Washington, D.C., but the, his wife and his seven-week-old daughter were there, and they were terrified. Well, if they felt threatened by the fact there were people out in front of their place protesting. They were at the front door. They were Do you, on the You have studio. video of them at the front door. Video at the front door. I, I, I saw it tonight. Uh, they, they had a Christmas wreath on the front door, and, they were, and the uh, protesters were the reef was flopping back and forth. Uh, I think they well, were, I'll have out. to go look for that video. Yeah. Um, because I'm not taking your word for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, in spite anyway. of the fact that I know everybody wants to have a drink, I don't want to prove you wrong yet. You know? uh, okay. Well, give it a try. Oh, by the way, I, I got one now. Uh, oh, you got one too. What's your temperature right now? Right now. Right now. Uh, Do it. 7.2. Seven what? Ninety seven point two. The that that thing always airs on the side of now it's, now it's ninety eight point three. Oh well, see. well, where where'd you put it though? Uh, just just at my temple. No, don't put it at your temple. Put it at your forehead. Oh. Your forehead, right? Now do it. Now what does it say? Ninety eight. Ninety eight. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll go get mine. We can't uh, we can't be uh, we can have a shootout here. Mm -hmm. Put put your hands up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, let me test you here a second. All right. Yeah. Oh well, you're ninety four one. No, but let's Ooh. see here. What, 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 Does that mean I'm dead? Let me see. Ninety nine one. What is this? That's this, from the hat. Huh? Probably from the hat. Probably from the hat. Yeah, I would say. Ninety eight four. Well, that's normal. Wait a minute. I gotta. 98.5. Now, wait a minute, but if I do the, the temperature here, the thermometer, which yeah. is actually the thermometer is better than that thing. Yeah. Uh, I do the thermometer, and... Uh, I'd have dead air if I went inside and got mine. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. 98.3? Wow. Well, that's pretty accurate. I well, mean, well, well, uh, 98... I'm, Four ninety-eight five. I'm in this room and it's a little hot right now, so you know. And uh, then the other, the other thing. I mean, mm -hmm. thank God for Amazon here. Uh, I got one of these, and uh, it'll it'll tell you uh, your oxygen level. No, oh, really. Yeah, uh, ninety-three. That's low. Do you know you can you, with the new Apple Watch? You can do that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this was fourteen dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Oh, I'm 97 percent on the oxygen, and 70. My heartbeat is 79. So yeah. now it went down to 96. Were you sucking the air out of the room? 98.3. <laughs> Let me see here. 98.4. Wow. Hmm. Well, well, that's be, what the other one read. 97.7. All right. 97.9. Yeah, 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 I'm okay. 
Yeah. I'm all right. I'm not. Yeah, but don't get me started because then I'll take my temperature every five minutes. Whatever. Yeah, well, I, I do. I get up in the morning. The first thing I do is check my temperature. I check my oxygen. And I and I do the uh, where was it? I put that thing on my arm, uh, blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, lately yeah. it's been good. So I uh, the, it, this morning I woke up. Uh, it was the end of a, uh, 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 what do you call it? An auction I was involved in. Oh. To try and get Gabnet.com. Oh, nice. Uh, did somebody give it up? Somebody gave it up. And it was, uh, it was, they were having an auction on it. Uh, so was anyone else bidding? Oh, yeah. Who, who would bid on GapNet? You know? Well, who knows? You know, I mean, it could be somebody who wants to compete with me, although it's a stupid idea that, you know, this is GapNet.net. This is not GapNet.com. Okay. Oh, Jim Browning, maybe. Huh? Jim Browning. Jim Browning, right. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, it could be somebody, it could be like some graphics company that's GAB. You know, yeah. and they wanted it, uh, but somebody wanted it enough that I lost it because they went up to, uh, I think it went for $619, and really? I, I didn't want to go that high. I, I was willing to go 300 but you don't, I, it, 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 I, I didn't need it that much, you know. No, you don't need it at all. I mean, you've done a good job with .NET. You know, GabNet.net yeah. sounds better than GabNet.com. Yeah, right. That would confuse people, oddly enough. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is that um, uh, uh, it it uh, I do have, however, GabnetLive.com in case I ever want to use it. And if you type in GabnetLive.com, it rolls over to Gabnet. Yeah, yeah. Now I, I I told you to 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 get Gabnet TV, and you did. Did I? Yeah. Where? And uh, I don't think yeah. I have Gabnet TV because you were originally going to use uh, Gabnet something else. Uh, oh, you know uh, where I have Gabnet TV is on Roku. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you were originally going to set up the Roku with some other Gabnet something or other, and I said, "Why not Gabnet TV?" And yeah, but know. I don't have I don't have Gabnet TV as a URL. Yeah. You know, well, although you I might know. I might do that. You know, why yeah. not? You know, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. You know. If there it, once in a while, I come up with a with a good one, yeah. you know, like Abnet Live. Yeah, and I also have AlexBennett.com. dot com. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, you know, I, I, I'm covered. But you know, I also figure, how long am I going to live? So how long do I need this for? You know, if I were like in my you know, 35, maybe I'd go and I would have spent anything it took to get that other URL. You know, yeah, I don't know. You know that that it's that it's worth having. You know, yeah. You're better off with another thermometer, you know. Yeah, probably. Let me see. Has my temperature gone three. down at all? <laughs> Ninety-eight point six. What? Ninety-seven is nine. Ninety-seven nine. No COVID here. Really? Yeah. Ninety-seven five. I just. Oh, I did, you I did it further <laughs> away. I did about here. This is about the distance you should do it. I think. Oh, your your body's colder no, than. Oh, ninety-eight four. Ninety-eight uh, even. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, but every time you do it, it's different. Ninety-eight five. Yeah. Let's see here. Closer, it's ninety-eight five. Further away, it's. Let me try it really close. Ninety-seven nine. Supposedly, Nin it's supposed to be about this far away from you. So I was ninety-eight three when I was that far. Yeah. So I ninety-eight one. Yeah. No. Oh. You know. So you got any other uh, TV shows, movies, things that you'd recommend? Cause oh, I, you know what I saw that's terrific? The best documentary I think I've seen in a long time is on Hulu. And it's uh, um, uh, a, a documentary on Roger Ailes. Oh. And I mean, it is terrific. Because yeah. by the end of it, you want to go take a bath. You know, so, you want to go take a shower. You just feel so filthy. It was anti-ales. Well, it isn't anti-ales. It is ales. I mean, this guy was not a nice guy. Yeah. You know, well, this guy, when it came to women, was using his position to get laid. You yeah. Know? And, well, uh, and, but it wasn't to the extent of, oh, I'm, hey, I'm, I got a radio show. Hey, you want to fuck me? And they go, no, and you say, okay. No, this was, you want a bigger job here at Fox. You got to yeah. blow me. I mean, that's what it came down to. 
Yeah. Now, did they say who actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, paid the price? You know, what women? Uh, uh, they uh, they were they, they I don't think they named names, but they indicated that if you had a job at Fox and you were doing uh, a show there, you probably had to at one time or another have done something for uh, him. Okay. So. So. What do you think Sean Hannity had to do? He didn't have to do anything. The guys were that was they, they were the ones that got laid as a result of it because you know uh, um, it, it wasn't just that he would say to a woman, "Well, you know, if you're not if you're good to me, uh, I'll give you a job." He says, uh, "But you also have to have fun with a couple of my friends too." Well, he's that's a good guy. He, you know, he passed the wealth around, and who knows yeah. who took advantage of that? You know. Yeah. Well, uh, but it's a great documentary. It's one of the best I've I've seen, and not because it it goes against him, but I just never realized how terrible it was yeah. what he did, you know. And uh, it it it's it's a it's a very good documentary. You know? Yeah. Well, that 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 would be interesting. I I forgot about Hulu. You know, I used to use Hulu for my regular TV, mm -hmm. and then I switched to YouTube TV. Mm -hmm. which I like, yeah, uh, but um, I forgot all about Hulu, and I think there's a couple of versions of Hulu. You can get like a uh, a, a limited version. Well, no, there, there. I I have the Hulu without commercials. Oh, okay. And uh, I can't stand having commercials and shows anymore. I even took Peacock and I got it for four forty nine, four ninety nine to see what it was like, and now I went for the one for nine ninety nine just so I don't have to have commercials. And I, I find I'm watching it more. You know. Yeah, yeah. I I don't like the commercials either. Uh, the YouTube. The one thing that I'm starting to really dislike is the commercials, uh, because they. Well, you know what I hate? They 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 don't put them in the right place. Yeah. Okay, it's just it interrupts just anywhere it wants to. There's a commercial, right. and and after about five seconds you can get out of it, but it's annoying. You right. know, it, it, it sit there with the uh, with the button. I mean, if they offered me a service on who on uh, YouTube where I could watch all these things without a commercial, I would do it. You know, you don't. No, I don't think so. No, you can buy a service they have. Uh, it's like I don't know YouTube Red or something like that. But it doesn't uh, oh, it doesn't mean that you still don't get commercials on the normal YouTube. I had the YouTube Red for a very short period of time to watch uh, yeah. Cobra Kai. You know the uh, not Cobra Kai. What do they call that? Uh, the, the the Karate Kid. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Uh, karate Kid. I and then on Netflix the other night, uh, season three of Karate Kid was uh, was on Netflix. Karate so Kid. I, karate Kid were a series of three movies. Uh, no, this is uh, three seasons of something. Uh, Kung, uh, it's Kung uh, Fu. Version. What? It's the modern version. Of Karate Kid, all grown up, oh. uh, the uh, the protagonist and uh, and the uh, and the villain get together, and yeah. uh, you know the the Japanese guy's dead. Yeah. And, uh, so it's it's taken it to uh, you know thirty years later. Hmm. Okay. And it's cute. I, I don't mean, care about that. You know. But I'm invested now. I got three seasons. You're invested. Oh. Well, the first two seasons you had to have red, and uh, then the third season came out on Netflix, and so I didn't have to uh, sign up for red. Yeah, Netflix has everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, I mean, I you know, I love I love the Disney Channel, uh, Disney Plus, very good. You know, yeah. uh, Mandalorian, just terrific show, just a terrific show. And then they've got like nine episodes of Mandalorian shows called Gallery. With Disney's gallery, The Mandalorian, and they tell you how they did it, and it's just fascinating. I mean, the kind of work they put into it, and the kind of loving of the Star Wars thing that they had, and it's just, it's great. It's just I've great. only seen one Star Wars in my life, and you recorded it uh, for me on a VHS tape and gave me a copy of a bootleg Star Wars. And yeah, it was the well, the Star Wars was one of the first bootleg tapes running around. Yeah. You know. So and and you booted it one more time for me on a VHS, and uh, I recorded over it. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. 
All right. Well, anyway, hey, listen, uh, good to see you again. Welcome to the new year. And uh, I think it's going to be a good one, but not for Dr. Dre. No, he just had a uh, aneurysm. Right. An aneurysm. Wow. Uh, Now, I think he's just trying to mess with his uh, with his wife that he's divorcing because she wants too much money. But uh, yeah. Well, if he dies from this thing, he'll she'll get all of it. So, yeah. you know, uh, she's probably out there praying, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, uh, no, it, 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 yeah. But, it, I, you know, hopefully this year will be better. But, I, you know, when people thought that, hey, the new year's here, thank God 2020 is behind us. Well, you, nothing, we don't know how nothing, much. We don't nothing's know. Nothing's going to change. We don't know how much 2021 is going to suck. But you know? nothing's going to change. But you, you know what? Uh, you he, you had quoted somebody, and I don't know who it was you quoted, but now that's all I can think about is somebody died, was on his deathbed, mm-hmm. and he said, his last words were, is that all, is oh, this uh, it? Marlon Brando. Oh, is what, that it? What, no, what was that all about? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's what he said. What was that all about? Who said, is, is this it? Yeah, well, that's basically, that's what Brando. Yeah. yeah. What was oh, that all okay. about? Yeah, yeah, so I think about that more now than uh, than I have in a, you know other stuff. Yeah, you know, it's it's like sometimes I last night I dreamt about what would if I you know if I wasn't here tomorrow, what what would what would go on? What well, go I on? just figure my last words to Marjorie will be so. What's for dinner? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, gotta go uh, because these other people want to talk, and uh, you know we don't want to. Yeah, they want to bash Trump, but, uh, but you know. Thanks I'm for being here on New Year's, and uh, listen, we'll uh, we'll 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 do this again next week, right? Sounds good. Okay, See you ladies and gentlemen, there he goes. That's Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Anyway, it's time now for me to uh, switch over to the citizen panel. And there are a couple of people waiting to come in, so let me admit them. There are just like two of them, but maybe others will be calling. So let's see here. Uh, who's, who's coming here? Here we go. Uh, let me see here. Uh, admit Allen. There we go. Admit Allen. And um, let me see here. We got, uh, well, there's Allen and there's Charlie. And uh, okay, I'll go to the Zoom panel. There they are. Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Hello. Oh, hello. Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, here, Robert and Tolly is showing up. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Admit him. Um, so, uh, 20, 2021. Woohoo! Yeah, uh-huh. right. Boom. <laughs> Don't say woohoo yet. It's like I said, who, who knows it, if it is going to be just as shitty a year as the last year? Or yeah, maybe, sarcastic. maybe even worse, you know. All of a sudden, we'll find out the vaccine doesn't work, and uh, you know, because we're having we're having trouble with getting the vaccine out there. Yeah, in the arms is taking a while. Yeah, no, no plan. You know, they have a plan. We have a great plan to get this distributed. You know, through the through the what uh, armed forces, whatever he said, and then but then that's just to get it distributed. But then, yeah. Yeah. Where is it? How's it going to get in everybody's arm? Yeah. Well, you know, Operation Warp Speed. Yeah. yeah. That's really. Has anybody here got it yet? No. 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 And nobody here has gotten COVID yet either. I got no. online. Well, I'm in not... line for it, but. Yeah. Except uh, um, um, if Tony would have called, Tony has had COVID. Has COVID. So. Right. Uh, but, yeah. uh, what, what, Jeffrey? Jeff, turn on your mic. Mike, Mike, time. There you go, Jeffrey. Um, yeah. What? Tony, Tony has COVID. Somebody who's going to get it tomorrow? Yeah, Tony's COVID. He's really? Gonna, he's going to get what tomorrow? They're going to get injected tomorrow. Why? Okay. Well, what? What? The, what? For what reason? Well, he is. They live in Florida. Tony? No, Tony doesn't live in Florida. No, but I'm talking people in in Florida get their medications because there's a lot of Republicans who will never take it. No, oh, okay. All right. But wait a minute. What did you say about Tony? I thought you said Tony got it. No, I didn't oh, say that. Oh, oh, okay. I think he might be able to get it because one of the groups that's being given it are, are people who take care of people in homes. 
caregivers. Yeah, but caregivers. he's already had COVID. That can do him any good. Yeah, what's the point? Uh, I think I, I, we have yet to figure out if there's an immunity, how much of an immunity there is from having it. Mm -hmm. That it's better if you take the shot as well, you know, when it's available. After, after the COVID's over with. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. They won't give it to him while he's got active COVID. Right. So, you know, but it's, it's, but I'll tell you, I got a note from some woman, God, who I guess I knew when I was working here in New York at WPLJ years ago. She says I know, knew her. You know, a lot of women I brought home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, but she wrote me and said that she's one of the long haulers. And she's been almost oh, long hauling for a year now. Oh. You know, long hauling is when you, uh, it's not a sexual term, uh, okay. is when you uh, 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 get COVID and then you have these after effects. And Migraine headaches and, yeah. Yeah. Really bad. Breathing. Yeah. Breathing problems. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought trucker Steve was a long hauler. <laughs> well, that, that too. Boom, ba. Anyway, so. But uh, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting year. It's gonna be interesting to see if we you survive it. How, how you doing, John? You were ill there for a while. Yeah, I um, I'm good. I'm feeling well. I still got this fucking uh, shingles though. That it's not as bad as it was, but it won't go away. They should be able to get rid of that. I mean, there is medicine for that. Yeah, there's a vaccine. There isn't, you say, Alan? Alan's nodding his head. No, down. there's not. There's nothing. He He's right. There's a vaccine to prevent you from getting it. Prevent, yeah. They, yeah. they, they told me not to take, get the vaccine yet, to wait till it goes away yeah. or something like that. I don't know. Well, it's funny. I had shingles. I had it on my eye and so on. And I had a doctor up in Mendocino, besides giving me some great weed, uh, gave me um, a... Um, uh, some pills to take and it went away uh so yeah. there is some medicine that you can take that you know does so yep. lighten it okay and uh, mine but, lasted hmm? mine lasted one month exactly one month really wow <clears throat> yeah and it was from here to my waistline from here all the way around some of the middle of my back well, my, that one mine, section. mine was just on my eye did it hurt around the oh yeah brian it hurt. Yes, it hurt to breathe. Yeah, well, this yep. couldn't have this, a shirt on. This hurt couldn't have a shirt crazy. on. And so I, I went to this Jeez. doctor who my girlfriend up there worked for, and he said, "Oh, you've got uh, shingles. Here, here's a prescription." And I went, I fill, I filled the prescription, and I took wow. a full course of it, and it went away. You know, so I don't know, uh, but most I didn't. shingles, most shingles goes away on its own. Yeah. Um, the older you get, the more chance you have of um, it it lasting longer and stuff like it, that. So it, it, it's I, a virus like herpes, you know, mm -hmm. like when some people get like cold sores and stuff like that. It keeps coming back. That's kind of like what it's what it is. Kinda yeah, well, like I um, um when I first heard about about shingles, I thought it was something you got in your ass. I mean, doesn't it sound <laughs> like something you get in your ass? That's hemorrhoids. That's no, aluminum. But, I, but no, I got shingles. Oh, really? Is your ass hurting? You know, I mean, I, I, don't, I didn't know it was like, you know. And plus the fact you, you had to have had uh, mumps, right? Chicken pox. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. Yeah. And I never had chicken pox. I never so, had chicken pox. It turns so out that I had, a, I had a girlfriend who at 23 came down with chicken pox. And she said, well, you're going to get it for sure. You've never had it before, and I never got it from her. Yeah, and it was suddenly as an was, adult, chicken pox is really dangerous. Well, well, they supposed that what I got was that I had it when I was a kid, but it was such a light passing right. dose yeah. of it, we thought right. it was something else, and I never knew that I had had chicken pox. Right. Because how could I get shingles if I didn't have chicken pox? It's it's. it's so it's, did you get the shingles vaccine? I get it now. Else? Yeah, I get it now. Yeah. So, yeah. So the the one that they had for like ten years, you got one injection and it protected you about fifty percent. Mm -hmm. The newest one called Shingrex, uh, you get two injections, one and then one. Four I, got, I got. Two. I got two. I got two. Right. And that came out in two thousand seventeen. Mm -hmm. 
and I just got my second dose, um, I don't know, four weeks ago or something like that. Yeah. And uh, it made me feel a little icky, but I'd rather feel icky than get shingles. And the, 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 the newer one is the Shingrex that you get two injections is over 90% effective. So good. Yeah. Good. I figured I don't want to get it. No. no. And when I had it on my that's eye, nice. he told me if I had waited a couple more days, I could have gone blind. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That, that remember, remember when uh, Letterman was off for about three or four weeks, mm. he had shingles. Mm. And um, I think Shecky yeah, told me the was. reason he didn't come back for that many weeks is he just didn't want people to see him with the shingles at all. And he had the same thing I had around his eye. Wow. Uh, and uh, it's not very attractive. You know. mm. But mm. anyway, I, uh, you know, so I'm glad to see that John at least is feeling better. You know. Yeah. And it'll clear up. You know. Hey, Alex, what, what was that documentary you were talking about to Phil? Uh, it's a, it was a documentary on uh, Roger Ailes. It's on oh, Hulu. Okay. Just look, Roger type Ailes. in Roger Ailes, A I L E S, okay. and it'll come up. Uh, okay. You know, it's uh, it it's really you know I mean I love documentaries, and I what I hate are bad documentaries, and the most documentaries are kind of bad because of the way they're structured or whatever. This thing just grabs you from the beginning and just drags you through this guy's tawdry, horrible life. <laughs> you know? I mean, there was nothing, there, there was no, nothing redeemable about this human being. Nothing at all. Zero. Hmm. And you wonder how people can live with themselves being that evil? I mean, the man was purely evil. We got and, and somebody forget, just like that in the White House right now. And forget, forget the fact that he started Fox and that he f was the head of Fox News and what Fox News represented. Uh, if he was still a decent guy and did that, and he could be a decent guy and do that, then okay, that's one thing. But we're not talking about a decent guy here. We're talking about the way he ran the plant, you know, and the, and, and, uh, the adva uh, advantage he took of women. It's just, it was just disgusting. You're not talking about Trump. Well, you mm. know, I mean, he was uh, he was a Trump supporter, and he was close friends with Trump. And they talk about Trump sending him to certain lawyers when he needed them. One of them being Rudy Giuliani, who mm -hmm. married Roger Ailes. He was the official officiating at uh, oh. Roger Ailes' wedding. So it, it's really, you know. And then I watched the movie. After that, I decided I'd watch Bombshell, the movie they made about all of that. Um, and it absolutely mirrors the documentary. There is just stuff that is absolutely true, I mean, in both the movie and, and the documentary. It was just fascinating. Just fascinating. But if you get a chance, it's... Uh, Ailes worked for Nixon at some point, didn't he? Uh, yep. Did he work for Nixon? Yes. Uh, he, uh, in fact, he met Nixon when he was producing, executive producing, uh, the Mike Douglas show uh, on, on Westinghouse. And uh, he was a, a guest on the show, and after the show, he cornered him and told him, what you need is a media consultant. He said, what's a media consultant? He said, it's a term I just made up for me. Wow. And Nixon hired him to be his media consultant, so he quit the Mike Douglas show and uh, created Nixon's path to winning the election. Wow. You know, all those town halls and everything that Nixon did. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he, uh, he's the guy that came up with, uh, he, well, he was involved in the Willie Horton ads and so right. on that came out. He was, uh, he, he was a uh, slimy little bastard. I'm telling you. And then he, uh, he started the, a talk network at, uh, at NBC called America's Talking. And when they saw that they could make money off a, uh, a what do you call it, channel, cable channel, uh, they said, ah, oh, fuck this, we'll start our own. And they went out and partnered up with, uh, uh, with uh, Bill Gates, and they started MSNBC and threw him out the door. So he said... Then I'm, they're going to live to rue the day they did this. And he went over and talked to Rupert Murdoch and started Fox. And Fox beat the crap out of MSNBC, CNN, mm -hmm. and all of them. But did you hear the recent news about Fox? 
that they got beaten out in the ratings yeah. by Newsmax? Yeah. Yep. Wow. 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 Are you kidding me? I mean, Newsmax is dinky TV. Kind of scary, too. They're crazy. Yeah, it is scary. Oh, if it, listen, if you watch Newsmax, you'll love Fox. Yeah. Because Fox suddenly looks good. It looks yeah. moderate. Yeah, it looks moderate. Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of getting moderate because they had a thing on, what was it, with Brett Baer and uh, this Noah Hall, uh, not Noah Hawley. I keep thinking of the guy who did, uh, Hawley, uh, yeah. uh, uh, what's his name? First name is Doug Hawley, is it? I can't remember. Like Josh Hawley? Josh Hawley, that's it. Yeah. I get it mixed up with Noah Hawley, who's like the writer and producer of shows like Fargo and uh, Legion and so on. But anyway, uh, Noah Hawley, uh, Noah Hawley, there I go again. <laughs> Josh Hawley, uh, who is an absolute asshole. Yeah, he's uh, a fucker. Hmm? A fuckhead. Oh, yeah, he's terrible. He's just terrible. Uh, I'll be a Republican. Huh? Probably a Republican. Well, it's not a matter that he's a Republican. I mean, he's 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 a guy who ran for senator, won, got into office, and within the first couple of years felt, well, I guess I can run for president. So now he's doing everything to get, you know, to to coddle Trump's base, which is yeah. kind of a stupid thing to go do because Trump has a base right now. Yeah. But when he's out of office for a couple of years there's not going to be a base there anymore, okay? Uh, they're going to find some other nutcase to follow, you know. Um, That's kind of dangerous, though, you know? It, it, could be a, it could be a nutcase who's uh, smarter than Trump, you know? Well, I was, I was talking to, um, to Phil about Josh mm -hmm. Hawley, and um, he's now, though, he's claiming that uh, 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 Antifa came to his house and protested. These were just protesters. We're protesting Hawley because he's one of the guys who's trying to subvert the will of the American people by, you know, trying to do a, a no show, a, a, a no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here, uh, to make a problem out of out of tomorrow's uh, electoral voting, uh, and um, which is really a strange situation because how many of you ever knew? when the Congress had a vote on, you know, counted up the electoral votes and made them official. We never cared. They just did it. You know, it never was. And it was hardly ever even covered in the news. Yeah, I mean, you, you do, you've you never seen the, tomorrow. They've got all the networks have got reporters there, and they're going to be doing wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the counting of the votes. And, and I'm going, geez, this is crazy. And then Trump thinks he's going to get Pence to throw a, a wrench into the whole thing. And all somebody once said that all uh, uh, Pence is there for is he's the MC. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. the master of ceremonies. Yeah. And he's hosting, they... he's hosting the Oscars. Yeah. And he doesn't say who's going to win an Oscar and who doesn't win an Oscar. <laughs> you know, he just says, okay, how many votes from New York? Okay, count those. There's nothing he can do. I, I love Phil and other right-wingers who create these false equivalencies. You've got a president who, who's leaning on state officials to turn votes around, and Republicans come out with, oh, well, back in third grade, he punched him in the arm. You know, like it's not an equivalency <laughs> that somebody protested outside the guy's house. Don't make it seem like it's, well, you do it too. You know, like, come on. You're talking about somebody that's outwardly breaking the fucking law. And yet they try to create these, oh, well, Biden once, you know, made money and nobody knows where from. Jesus. Well, it, well go out and make a case out of that at some other point, but that doesn't make you right. Like, geez, just, you know, wake up. Yeah, I mean, they, they go, you know, well, Trump is trying to subvert the vote of the American people, and then they come out with, uh, yeah, but what about Hunter Biden? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about Hunter that. Biden? What about Hunter Biden? Yeah. You know? I mean, 
come on. I, I, you know, do you think there's anything in the Hunter Biden story? No, no not you, really. You don't. Is it because you don't want to, or because you don't really genuinely don't think there is? I mean, the guy's a drug addict. He had a drug problem, but he's trying to clean up. I mean, you know, but it, it, it's he's not running for any office. He's not even involved with his dad's, uh, you know, office. You know, yeah. and all this bullshit about this deal in China. It's all bullshit. There's no evidence of anything. Just some, they just pick up some guy off the wall, you know, that says, oh, I, I was there, you know, and oh, fuck. Because this guy's. You know what it little... tells me? It, mm. You know what it tells me? What? It tells me how clean Joe is. That's yeah. what it tells me. Yeah. 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 In what, what respect? How do you, how do you. Well, stop and think about it, Alex. If they have to make a big deal about the guy's son. Then they haven't got anything on him. Yeah, they ain't got yeah. anything on him. Move along. There's nothing to see here. Well, they're trying to say, well, didn't he make money off his son's blah, 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 blah. Like this has never happened before. Mm -hmm. You know, give me oh. a break. Warnock just pulled ahead. Yes, he and, did. And, and uh, Ossoff's down 2,000. They're literally tied. What? They're literally, uh, Ossoff is literally tied right now. Yeah, right. And, um, and, and Warnock pulled ahead. The Cal County's coming in. Yeah, DeKalb, <laughs> that's really a lot of people, and it's all blue. Well, it'd be nice if we could we could win the, the well, we wouldn't win the Senate. But who, by the way, I was seeing at this the other day. If it comes out that we have fifty senators on each side, who becomes the majority Schumer. leader? Huh? Schumer. Schumer yeah. becomes. Schumer well, but but because... is it, how can he be called the majority leader if they, we don't have the majority? We don't because, have a minority because either. Because the vice president breaks ties. That gives yeah. the okay. majority. So okay. Schumer, Schumer would then become. I'm, I'm, I'm the buying part. Kamala Harris a nice cushion for that seat in the Senate. Mm. Yeah. You know, get comfortable here, darling, because we're going to need you every once in a while to raise you, your hand. We're going to need you about every yeah. Thursday. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> which I don't think she'd mind. You know. No. No, yeah. at least she'd have something to do. Yeah, yeah, because most vice presidents don't do much of anything, do they? They go to funerals. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, Biden, when he was vice president, advised the president. You know, he was there on every major decision. So, at least I've told this. I've told this before, but the old joke is there were two brothers. Mm -hmm. One ran away to sea, and the other became vice president, and neither one was hurt from again <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 this this guy is watching fox last night when trump was doing his speech and this guy my, i think his name is mike hegswith or something like that hegswith mm -hmm. yeah i don't know he's, he's a fox commentator and he goes the, the united the united states doesn't deserve uh donald trump as president <laughs> you're damn right <laughs> Yeah, I agree. You're damn right we don't deserve them. Yeah, right. we right. didn't deserve them the last four years either. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, Purdue's right now has 52.2%, uh, and Ossoff has 49.8%, uh, and it's 95% in on that. Not good. Wow. Not good. That's not good at all. No, but we don't know where the other 5% are going to go. The other 5% yeah, could take it right over the top for... For Ossoff, but we don't know. You know, uh, he doesn't win. He's not gonna get though, anything done. Would this, if it's that close, it, would it call for another runoff? No. 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 It call for a recount. Yeah, it recount. recount. But yeah, that's why there's only two people, so it can't be. Somebody's gonna get fifty percent. Yeah. Somebody. Oh, somebody. Yeah. Uh, Ossoff's got fifty-one percent. So uh, let's see. Well, the Republicans already have fifty percent. All they need is one of the two of them. Really? Okay. Yeah, uh, it's forty-eight. To left, 50 Warnock. Right? Warnock is ahead. He's ahead yep, by uh, by 20, about twenty thousand votes. One hundred twenty thousand. No, uh, twenty thousand votes. Yeah, uh, he's got fifty point two percent. She's got the rest, I guess. It's so depressing that because Leffler is such a horrible person, and asshole. he's barely gonna inch ahead of her. Jeez, well, better than not, better than being behind. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but that's still depressing. It only takes one vote to win. Yeah. One vote over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see here. Let's. I hope- guess what I don't get is, if the presidential election was a mess and illegal, why is this legal? Well, they have to see if they win first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what I don't see is how if the presidential election was defrauded, then how come all the Senate and House elections yeah. weren't defrauded? Yeah. Why don't we throw those out, too? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yep. Hmm. That's next. Well, you know, I mean, um, um, I, I still think the Senate is up for play anyway, because you've got a guy now in, in, uh, in Biden who was a senator. He was, was part of the club and knows how to play them. Uh, and I, you, you look like you don't agree with me, Robert. I don't. I, he's going to struggle with his cabinet, you know, mm-hmm. where if it's 50-50, he can basically push his cabinet forward and mm-hmm. they'll be approved. Yeah. He also is going to struggle with the fact that whenever things come to a close vote, he immediately has to find a Republican that's willing to come over. And that's always going to be a problem for those that are going to vote party line, Hmm. you know, and chairmanships also are at stake. You know, you've got Mm -hmm. chairman of various committees that are at stake. Yeah. And so a lot is swinging on tonight. I'm going to. Yeah. He'll never get a judge appointed. No. McConnell will never allow any judge, federal judge or Supreme court justice to be appointed. No, he'll just Maybe we'll get lucky and McConnell will have a heart attack. Well, I mean, you know, if worse comes to worse, another two years, we can probably pick up a few seats, hopefully, you know. So. Well, then the, then the Republicans are going to say Biden didn't do anything. Yeah. But the, the, of course yeah. he didn't do anything because you didn't let him do anything. Phil, Histori- Phil, historically, the party that's out of presidential power picks up seats in the off years election. Yeah, this right. was the year they should have picked up seats. Is because exactly. exactly. The Republicans had 24 seats up. Yeah. Uh, hmm. uh, I'm going to let somebody in here because I had him on the hmm. other day and he wasn't, it wasn't, oh, it wasn't, well, he's gone now. So um, it wasn't a problem. It's our friend from Norway. Um, who oh. usually I haven't let on because he always has technical problems and you can never hear him and so on. And the other day he called and he was fine. So, you know, but anyway, um, before we go any further, we, it's the first of the year and we could not come on the first of the year without hearing from Dr. Doom, Charlie <laughs> Wallace with his daily COVID report. Yeah, we had another Single day record for COVID deaths, 3,936 today. That's in the country, Almost 4,000 deaths. And how about uh, in Texas? In Texas, we well, we had over 32,000 new infections, and we only had about 250 deaths. Really? Uh, California number one, baby. Yeah, California's <laughs> New- coming up strong. New York. We're, we're starting it? to lead. We're starting to go away from the pack now. The other day, we had 170 deaths here, and then it it, it went up to uh, then it went down to 140 uh, today. So. I heard that in Los Angeles, they're actually rationing who gets oxygen. That I oxygen. Hear ra- not yeah. only rationing who gets oxygen. Yeah, those that they feel have little chance to survive, they're cutting back on the oxygen. It's like yes. an effect. They're letting them die. Well, yeah, no, no. What they're doing is they're deciding who has the least chance of survival, and they're not yep. rushing them to L.A. hospitals. Yep. So basically, yes, you've got your death panels going on. That's sad. It is. Yeah. Well, here well, we're 100 percent full in our hospital beds in Texas. Yep. It Don't get a heart attack. Yeah. No room yeah. for you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So in, don't in, cut a finger you know, badly. Yeah. In San Jose, uh, at a Kaiser, you probably heard this news, Brian, <clears throat> that. Um, they, they, one of the one of the employees came in in one of these blow up clown suits that had air blowing through it to keep them looking like a clown. And then forty five doctors a week later 
came down with all of them tested positive with COVID. 45. Oh, oh my God. Oh, in the emergency room. Sorry. That's the oh, name. Oh, my God. At, at Kaiser in San Jose. Wow. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Well, that's amazing. Well, let me see here. Um, I just tried to bring in. Eh, he's not coming in. Okay, I'm not going to deal with Here we him. go. Oh, here we go. Here, Hi, come, here comes Richard. Richard, turn on your microphone so we can hear you. You have to turn on your microphone. Rich, uh, Richard's in uh, Norway. Are you there? We can't hear you. Okay. Microphone. If I can't hear you soon, I'm getting rid of you. Okay. Uh, your mic isn't on for some. There, no, your mic is off now. Okay. Yeah. I I don't have to put up with this. Okay. So, uh, I'll give you a, uh, five more seconds. One, two. Three, four, five. Let's see here. Um, oh, where, how do I get rid of? Oh, there it is. <laughs> he's gone. Well, right? he's, he was yeah. gone anyway. So, and yeah, I thought I would just try because his picture was coming in nicely, and his uh, audio this time wasn't coming through nicely. Brian started this motion at three seconds. Hmm? I mean, not Brian, but Robert. No, Robert. 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 Like this yeah. At three the seconds. Countdown. Yeah. yeah, the countdown. <laughs> anyway, and I'm going to just remove him from the list here. Let me just do that. Yeah, we'll remove him. Okay. Well, we don't want to get on his shit list. Uh, what? I said we don't want to get on your shit list. No, it's not a matter of getting on my shit list. It's a matter of if I'm doing a show and I've got to spend five minutes trying to get somebody's thing to work. I get it. You I know, get it. I, we got, making... You know. We're having a nice leisurely conversation here, you know. Because we all know each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, anybody been watching anything good? Oh, I started watching uh, Flight Attendant. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, Max. It's terrible. Really? Yeah, I just started watching that one. I wanted to really like it because I like her. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it just, it was not I very good. But undoing, did you watch that? Undoing? No, Marjorie did. She liked it. I did. Oh, yeah? I thought it was lame. Really? Right. With, uh, with uh, Nicole Kidman. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah, I didn't yeah. buy it. I thought, I don't know. I just thought, thought the whole thing. I, I knew, I, I could tell he did it, you know, and I knew, mm. yeah, I don't know. I saw the Bee Gees uh, documentary. That I, was interesting. I, I told you that was very good. Yeah, I actually, you know what? The 1979, that concert in Oakland, mm -hmm. they were saying that was the same day that the DJ blew all those disco records up. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was at that concert. My, my parents used to take me to concerts when I was really young. I have the, the program and my ticket still from that concert. So wow. yeah. I'll tell you, I, I watched that documentary. Both Marjorie and I watched it reluctantly. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, we put it on just because there was nothing uh, left. I, yeah. eh, let's watch it. Let's see. Now, n neither of us liked the Bee Gees. We thought they were just annoying. You know? Really. <laughs> yeah. Screaming and doing all that. And we watched this thing. When it was through, we looked at each other and went, A, that was a good documentary. And secondly, they were better than we thought they were. Yeah, yeah a lot of that. A lot of that music from the '70s that was, you know, like, like uh, Hall and Oates. If you liked Hall and Oates in the '70s, you weren't cool. But now, when you listen to them, you go, "Hey, they were actually pretty good." You know, they weren't that bad. Yeah. But yeah. Where we were, we're we were very close, off to the side at Oakland Coliseum, and there was a girl, really cute blonde girl, that was next to us. And my mom and dad started talking to her, and she said, "Oh, I just met Andy Gibb at the." at uh, Hawaii and he said he's supposed to be here at this concert and all of a sudden an usher came up and talked to her really quick and then took her away and I guess she went backstage with oh, him so really wow yeah. mm, yeah. wow she's she probably, just a, she probably yeah. just a hookup for did him she come back like a, did, she, women. did she come back going <laughs> 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 yeah she was up on her knees I, well I knew him a bit because he would come to my show in New York um, often and um, on a couple of occasions, not often. Uh, and I liked him. He was a nice kid, Andy Gibb. Mm -hmm. 
He was a nice kid. But anyway, what you yeah, what he, you saw in this documentary was, number one, you, you got to hear their music, and uh -huh. you got to see that they they changed. They kept changing and adapting mm -hmm. to the times. Mm -hmm. And we remember them mostly for the disco period because of you know Saturday Night Fever. But prior to that, they had any number of hits. Uh, yeah. And afterwards, when they were no longer popular, because when they started doing the burning the records thing, it suddenly mm -hmm. was such a backlash of their music that nobody wanted to play them or record them or anything. So what they did is, since they were great songwriters, they wrote songs for other yeah. people. And then yeah. they listed the songs that they wrote for other people, and you're going, my God, these are good songs. You know, yeah. these are terrific. Mm -hmm. they and they're talking to the DJs. Hmm? They were talking to the DJs that were just sick and tired because they were so successful. Because what well, they had like four or five uh, top songs on the top twenty or top forty, and they just kept playing BG songs all day because it was in their rotation so much. Yeah, the different songs. Well, I mean, they had it, it was it became overkill with the BGs, and yeah. they they yeah. they fell out of favor, and they had several years where they were not popular, so they started writing for other people. Yeah, and Kenny Rogers and uh, uh, Dolly Parton had Dolly a hit Parton. off of them, "Islands in the Stream" or something like yeah. that. And, yeah. and I mean, on and on, they started playing a lot of these songs that other people had recorded. And you're going, "Yeah, these guys are really better than we thought they were. They were more talented than we gave them credit for." Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because we just, I just kind of mm -hmm. ignored them as an annoyance when they were, you know, like yeah. Yeah. I, I, I never worked at radio stations where they played them you know i was on progressive radio stations and the you know the bgs were out oh. you know but their their music was better than listening to sean cassidy or leaf garrett right yeah. that's a low bar. well come on yeah you're hitting yeah. a low bar there <laughs> jesus christ they were also better than the six-year-old that lives down the block yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh alex do you know that you invented the rick roll before there even was an internet you remember Rick Astley, that song? Uh, oh. Remember, you, remember, you used to play that song, just you, you just play it for no reason? Uh, the, uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember what the song was, but yeah. I played it because I, I said, you you up. Up. I said yeah. I, uh, t this morning, I hate the audience. And so <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to play this song over and over again for a while. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to remember what the song was now. Never going to give you up. Never going to give you gonna up. Give yeah. you, um, nah, 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 yeah. nah, and then, nah, then it became nah, an internet nah, nah, nah. theme called a, a Rick Roll. <laughs> yes. Yeah, wait, I noticed it's like a rash. <laughs> Did I call yeah. it a Rick Roll? <laughs> it's it's like a, um, if you click, if you, it, it was like, I don't know, it was in the early days of the internet where you would click on something that you think you'd be going to something yeah. else, but you'd end up going to a, or that, that video of that, yeah. guy singing that song. Yeah. You would send your friend a message and say, here, check out this new site that I like. And they would click and it would be Rick Astley. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That uh, song. Uh, uh, some Rick big Roll. DJs, some big DJs would play that, play a song right when they get to the drop, they would play that never going to give you up. And the whole crowd just died. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> I always thought about you whenever I thought. Of well, was it? I was he that. the one that was on like General Hospital? Mm -mm. No, who is who is this singer? Oh, that was, that Rick, was Rick, Springfield. Uh, Rick Springfield. Rick Springfield. Rick Springfield. Yeah. Rick Astley. Rick. Huh? Yeah, that's Rick Astley. It's Rick, Rick Springfield Astley. was on General Hospital. Rick, yeah, Rick Astley was on General singer. Hospital. Yeah. 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 Different guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I always hated Rick people Hall. that that. <laughs> had hit records because they had a hit TV show. You know. Sean Cassidy. Uh, Sean Cassidy, a good example. Cow Sills. Cow yeah. Sills. Partridge Family. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Well, the Partridge Family were really the TV version of the Cow Sills. Yeah, the Cow right. Sills were their own group, you know. Yeah, yeah but but all the, a lot of those bands never played any of their own music. It was uh, the Wrecking Crew that played yeah, on all the... Oh, right. yeah, well, I mean... Uh, but, I was on TV with the cow seals in the sixties. Hey, you on the T on TV with the cow seals. Yeah. Tell us about it. <laughs> well, it's just like one of those, uh, academic shows and they were the, the, the celebrity guests or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was representing my high school. And, and what, and show. why, what, 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 how was it academic? I mean, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to remember. This is back like in 66. Or I mean, what was I the mean, show was... about? They came on and you asked them questions or did they actually perform or what? No, they sang. And they talked to us. I remember talking to them. I saw a, a documentary once, a long time ago, on the Cow Sills and, and how they came to be. I think they fell apart because the, the husband and wife had a falling out, something like that, right? Yeah. I, may I don't be, remember. I may be wrong about that. If, if so, they can sue me. How about um, the monkeys? Well, the monkeys were a strange uh, situation. Yeah. They were created because the Beatles, you know, had uh, their movies. And so they wanted to do a weekly TV show that was like that. So they went out and they hired some of the best people in the business and producers in the business to produce and write songs for them. Their their top song was written by Neil Diamond. Uh, Neil Diamond, yeah. 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 Neil Diamond and, uh, or uh, how about Ple uh, their, their, uh, their, uh, their uh, first hit was what? Pleasant Valley Sunday. What was it? What was the name of that? Uh, uh, and that was written parts. by that was yeah, written know, by that was, that was written by Carol King. You know, they had people yeah. like Carol King yeah. writing for him. They had people like Neil yeah. Diamond writing for him. On and on and on. Uh, and uh, then they got to a point where they learned to play their own instruments. One one did play an instrument. Uh, uh, Peter yeah. Tork, I think played the, the guitar. Mike Nesmith was a pretty talented guy. He actually yeah. went on to be a country western performer. Yeah. And very well. Yeah, but and didn't his mom didn't his mom invent the post-its or something? No, no. I, it, it was uh what do you call it? The white 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 out. White out, yeah. You know, oh, the, white it, out. and oh, that white was, out, white and, out. Yeah, and that was yeah. A, yeah. That was a that was a godsend for typists. Who would yeah, like you right. know had white out there, and so they didn't have to go back and start the whole thing all over again, right? Right. And uh, she fun. made millions and millions off of white out, uh, and uh, he then inherited that. So he he didn't even have to work, <laughs> you know. Um, but in the by the end of it, they were uh, writing and doing their own songs, you know. Are we still George talking Harris. about the Huh? Uh, are we talking about the Beatles or the monkeys? The monkeys. monkeys. The monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. And George George Barris built that car, their car. Their car. Kind of a GTO. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've seen that. I knew I had, George was like in our, you know, all all the old timers for our car car stuff. So oh, well also George Barris most famous creation was the Batmobile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh but anyway, so I mean uh uh the, the monkeys by the time they started being good and doing stuff on their own, mm -hmm. they were has-beens. You know, mm -hmm. nobody wanted to hear from them anymore. So uh, th th that was kind of sad for them. And then they did a movie. Uh, they did a movie called Head. Yeah, that was uh, directed by Jack Nicholson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What, was it directed by him? He was in it. I'm trying to remember if he directed that. He directed other films. I'm trying to remember if he, I think directed... he directed that. Let me look yeah. it up here a second. I'll, I'll, uh, uh, he, um, uh, they, um, but it was a really a very interesting movie in that. Wait, 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 just stop. I don't want it. Just, oh, stop it. Stop it. I don't want anything here. It's not what I wanted. I didn't want a trailer for Batman. I wanted head. Here we go. Head. Okay, there we go. Head, head, the head, head of the class, Daisy Head. What is it? Oh, come on. You know, see all results for head. Uh, let's see, blow job. Uh, no. Uh, where is it? Head, head. There we go. Here we go. Let's see here. Who was? No, Bob, Bob Rafelson was the director on that, but Jack Nicholson was in it, and I thought uh, no, Jack Nicholson wrote it. That's what it was. Jack Nicholson wrote it. So porn. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The name of it was Head, so it was uh, porn. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, search that. <laughs> what was what was great about the movie is it, they they decided their the career of the of the monkeys was almost over, and so what did they do? What was the opening scene of the film? They kill off the monkeys. Hey. They have them all jump off a bridge together. 
and then they go back and do other stuff. And it was it was actually a very good, oddly enough, a very good film. Uh, hmm. And uh, but nobody went to see it because the monkeys mm -hmm. were through by then. Didn't the monkeys grow up and become Planet of the Apes? Yes, uh, they did. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Score one for him. Hey, I was an extra in a movie once since we're doing pop culture. Oh, really? Well, yes, I was. I was in high school, and they grabbed a bunch of high school kids from my neighborhood, and we would we were dragged over to 50-something and 10th Avenue to a high school, and we sat in an auditorium for a scene that took nine hours to film for the movie Up the Down Staircase, starring mm. oh, Sandy wow. Dennis. Mm-hmm. We were in, if you went to the movie theater, you saw us in the film. But if you watch it on TV or buy oh. the DVD, we're cut out. <laughs> so we no, got but paid minimum wage. And I got to tell you, it was the fucking most boring thing I've ever done <laughs> in my life. Oh, because making, they would suddenly ma announce we need a rewrite. And so you had to sit there for three hours. <laughs> Wow. Making a movie is like watching paint dry. Oh, yeah, man. No, it really is. It, 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 people think that making a movie is the real art. The real art happens when they go into the editing room and they take yeah. all this stuff and they make it make sense. Okay. But filming, and Hitchcock always hated filming. He hated the process of filming. He said, well, I'm just, I just need this shot, I need that shot. And it was just a matter of, of getting the bricks and mortar you needed. The director, the scene was supposed to be, we were in the auditorium for an assembly because mm -hmm. it was a, a school-based movie. Mm -hmm. And the director came out to us and said, here's the deal, kids. You're supposed to act bored. And we're all <laughs> looking at him like, that ain't going to be acting, that, that's, Yeah, It's not acting. No. Hey, but here's the thing. The hard part about it is, is that when you say to people, I was in the up the down staircase, and then they go to... Where are you in the movie? Well, I'm not in the movie. Yeah, I so, can't prove it. So nobody believes you. Right. Here's what nobody... There were a couple of things that I... that I, I always wanted to be in movies. That's why I got into radio. I thought if I did radio enough, somebody would ask me to be in a movie, and then I could start being an actor. Okay? Nobody ever asked me to be in a movie. Nobody. Okay? Except once I get a call saying, do you mind if we use audio from your radio show? <laughs> and I was in that first movie that George Clooney did, uh, One Fine Day. And I'm wow. in One Fine Day. Your voice. Oh, boy. He wakes up in the morning, and guess who's on his radio? Wow. <laughs> Me. Wow. Uh, but it, it's strange because... It's so low in the background. You hear me for the first couple of seconds that they have a shot of the radio, and then it goes into the background. So if you've got surround sound and you cut off your front speakers, you can hear me clearly. Hold on. I have a pal. I have a pal friend. who... A friend. The movie. Okay, I got it. Now, here's the one that nobody ever believes on me. Uh when I was uh, in San Francisco, I got called over by a group of people called Video West. And they said, we've been hired by this new organization, and we've got to do news items, news like news pieces for this. And it's, it's, it's a rock music channel. It's going to be called MTV. Wow. And we need, we, we'd like to have you come in and uh, 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 do the announcing on some of these pieces so now cut to um a couple of months later about a year later not a year later about a half a year later they decide they're going to have a big uh, mtv is going to have a big uh, party in san jose because it was the only cable channel that was going to be carrying mtv and so they brought everybody into this room and they said and here's our promo reel for mtv and then uh, I can't remember what her name was, uh, introduces me and says, here's Alex Bennett with our report from Hollywood. Nina and, Blackwood. And I, not Nina Blackwood. Now, I went in, I had done that like four months before. Yes, no. And I had forgotten completely that I had done it. 
And when they say, Alex Bennett, here's MTV's Alex Bennett, with blah, 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 everybody stares at me. And I go, they go, you're going to be on, you're on MTV? I said, I guess I am now. And then they called me in to do more of them. And for a year, I was on MTV. But MTV, if you, in fact, if you go on YouTube, there's actually things of, YouTube, of MTV's first day. And I was on that first day. One of my reports is on, one, on that first day. And uh, I, it, I, but about a year later, they stopped doing our news reports. And uh, they also, at the same time, got a place on cable in San Francisco. And to that day, nobody believed I was on MTV. <laughs> but I was on MTV from day one. I'm you impressed. Know. I got paid twenty five dollars a, a shot. I'm writing this down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the thing that I did that nobody believes I ever did was MTV. Yeah, so. But uh, and that was when they went on and they, you know, they actually played music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Once upon a time. Yeah. Now they just take pregnant women and do a series on them. Yeah. <laughs> So, Mr. Neary, how is your family doing through this whole COVID thing? Because you, you, you're the one here of all the people, I think, in this group who actually has children and has to deal with this on a very real day-to-day -day basis. How yeah, they just, uh, so they just started today. They just came back for the next semester. So <clears throat> they, they did send out a message to us because of Gavin Newsom's thingy. I mean, we're not going to have school all year, you know, they, they keep trying to update all the time, but you just know it, you know, that the whole year will be, will be, you know, virtual learning. Yeah. <clears throat> so they're doing good. I mean, yeah. But, so. but don't you, do you worry about, for instance, the, the little one, Adrian, mm -hmm. uh, she yeah. isn't getting that socialization. Right. The kids get when they go to school and this is probably her first year even going to school. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Pre-kindergarten. So, yeah, so it's the first one. So she talks to them online, but, you know, yeah, the whole thing of seeing them and hanging out with them and talking with them, that's the big thing. Yeah. She's, yeah. yeah. We've, we've been really tight. Even when they loosened up restrictions, we were only going out on Saturdays for lunch. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we were very strict on masks. So, I mean, if, if we mm -hmm. caught it somehow, we would know how. But there's, I, you know. Are there people still in California who don't wear masks? Yeah, I mean, walking around a little bit, but everybody stays. But, you know, the big thing is, the big thing is, like, the car wash is open. Mm. And, you know, and how, how do we, when we had the first lockdown in March, everything was closed. I would go out there and there'd be no traffic because we're essential workers. So I remember be that. No traffic. And yeah. now we're locked down again with worse numbers. And like Charlie, like we're saying, I mean, California is really bad right now, especially Southern California, but same as Northern California. And these other places are still open and they're, you know, they monitor how many people are coming in and that stuff, but still, there's still people inside. They're all wearing masks. Yes. But, but, I think but it around, seemed to me, I, I see just, a lot of masks, but I can't believe that a lot of these businesses are still open. And I know people have to make a living. Is it, is it so but, important that you clean your car? I mean, that the public yeah, health geez. be damned. We're going to let you clean your car. Where are you going anyway? Yeah. 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 So we, got... we need to get serious. We had, lockdown before we really need that kind of lockdown to get control and everyone's just cruising through thinking this vaccine is going to be the savior and we're going to get it next month and that's not right we're not going to hey, at the rate we're going we're going to be lucky if we get all get vaccinated within two years yeah yeah, yeah charlie yeah i when i get my car cleaned i never get out of my car that's right yeah you just drive through the thing and the water comes on all that stuff you never get exposed <laughs> to anything yeah. yeah, they have the you know they have the other one where you can go exterior only, or they have the one that you get out and they do the vacuuming and everything. I don't know if I could. My my oh, feeling no. is though that if I were living in California right now, the last thing I'd be worried about is my car being dirty. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, and I see I see guys playing basketball over here with no masks. I see tennis over here. They have some kind of thing because they had a group there with a tent thing. And there are a bunch of people over there, and I'm just... You know what I don't get? Here's the part that I don't get. What we do is we have a thing where, where they put up these sheds in front of restaurants that are out in the street. 
So they don't have to do indoor dining. But they're all covered and enclosed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's indoor. And I'm it's going, in. What's the that's difference? stupid. Yeah. That makes no sense whatsoever. You know what? Yeah, even you know during... I'm sorry. Go ahead, Brian. No, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was going to say, I, I heard an interview with Chris Hayes and Fauci tonight. Mm -hmm. And Fauci was saying that he believes that there can be a return to some kind of normalcy by the third quarter of 2021. Now, mm -hmm. when we heard that, the reaction from my wife and I was, oh, that's great. But then we stopped and thought, if we'd have known that back last March, that yeah. it was going to be a year and a half of being cooped yeah. up, we'd have shit our pants. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, like, it's funny how your expectations change over time. Yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm glad yeah. that uh, that we're, you know, <laughs> that we're kind of okay here in New York. We're better than than a lot of other places, but that death rate is going up, and we got our first case of the uh, the new and improved Ooh, COVID. Yeah. You know, COVID 2.0. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had a couple of cases upstate, and they're they're jumping on those really fast because they'd like to stomp them out. But, you know, it just if everybody would have, in, for instance, in California, worn a mask, just worn a mask, and they still go yeah, but, out. And, but still it, go, it's the gatherings. It's the gatherings. They you go see out the spikes the after Thanksgiving. You see yeah. the spike. Christmas time is, gonna, is starting to happen right now. And then yeah. the New Year's. I know a lot of people that were together New Year's. I know friends. Yeah, New Year's Eve. Tiffany's yeah. friends are still traveling. Yeah. Tiffany's friends are still traveling. They're still taking pictures on Facebook. Oh, yeah. places. Well, you know, we had a little Crazy. party here on, uh, on, uh, on GabNet. And that was it, you know. Yep. Uh, I, I wasn't yeah. going to go out, and I, but I just, I just, it's insane. And I went out, walked down the street today, and I mean, I can't tell you the number of people not wearing masks. And I'm going, don't you know what's going on? You know, yeah, it's... don't you know what's going on? And it's... and it's almost like I want to go up to people and say, <laughs> you're not wearing a mask. Why is that? You don't respect me. You know, I respect you. I'm wearing one. You know, it's all about respect. I think it's it's all about stuff that America has forgotten how to do. And that's be but civil with me each other. With this, this new variant, if Joe is in a position where he has to do what Boris Johnson did, mm -hmm. there's going to be political backlash toward Joe. Yeah. It's going to suddenly become Joe's fault. You know, in yeah. the meantime, it wasn't Joe's fault at all if this was was properly handled right. back then, right. you know, we wouldn't be in these shoes. Yeah. And Trump might have won. Uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. I have to text. Um, oh, I, I don't even have my text here. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second. Th thank you. We'll just go ahead and talk th around th you. No, thank you, yeah. Jack. <laughs> Let me Jack, see here. Jack will just come on. It says, what is the Skype password? I think, hold on a second. Password. Uh, yeah. That's his uh, Jack, don't yeah. you write these things down, Jack? Oh, that's Jack. That is Jack. Oh, no. <laughs> Tell him we're going to talk for another hour. Okay. Tell him he lost his, okay. his spot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. We're just so going to What we're does the runoff keep... look like right now? The runoff looks like right now 98%, right? Produce up by 3,000. How many? Oh, boy, that looks bad. Yeah, it's almost thousand votes. Off, they're almost tied, and Warnock's up by about thirty thousand. Oh jeez! Wow. Oh, Hold on a second, I get it. I can't. Warnock's gonna win, and and okay. I, I think Ossoff could win. So close. Let me it, hold on. I think they ought to do a recap. Yeah, yeah big deal, but it's going to be close. It is close. Look at that. Biden just, just needs to call them and ask for another 11,000 more votes to find yeah. him somewhere. That's oh, all. Yeah. My friend put up that she called the bank and said she needs them to find $11,780. <laughs> sure they miscounted. Somebody posted that. I saw that too, yeah. I said, the problem is we need seven million more dollars. Yeah, right. Exactly. Seven million votes. <laughs> well, I just uh, sent uh, Jack the uh, Skype password. How do I know the Skype password? I haven't used Skype in years now. Uh, but uh, anyway, and Jack, write it down this time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen, thanks, everybody. This has been nice. Just nice and easy and, you know, easy peasy. 
Thank you, uh, 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 Brian, for being with us this evening. Uh, and thanks to you, Alan. Good having you back here. And Charlie yeah. Wallace, great having you here. Robert, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Jeff Stein. And, of course, uh, it's nice to see that John Larkin is slowly on the mend. Uh, hey. Everybody, uh, give a big wave goodbye. And I'll give a big wave goodbye to you as well. Okay, there we go. There they go. Hi, That's guys. our citizen panel. Hey. Let me just uh, get rid of them unceremoniously listen jack bishop will be here next with the proper password uh and he'll be doing skype so uh you can call him at gabnet live uh we'll be back again uh, tomorrow night uh at uh, nine th at wait a minute, nine o'clock uh there's our sports show okay and then uh tomorrow night at 10 30 i'll be back again same time same station in life in the meantime as always if you see her Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.